Hello and welcome to a new video about my stepper control. I want to filter the input a little bit. I have some library written. However, I want to do this from scratch. Yeah, I want to do this now for the X, for the X motor. And, and I want, I want to, to, to have this in 10. Yeah, I, what I want to do actually is I want to make the average of the last 10 measurements. Yeah? Not one measurement, the average of the last 10. Let's see how this is working. So I will define now. Uh, average count. And this will be 10. Ooh, 4 and 10 is a little bit too much. And I will... I need to remember the last 10 values, so I make an array, okay? So I make an array, it will be uint, unsigned int, uh, unsigned int, uh, in x array, and this array will be of average count. Then I will make an, uh, unsigned long x average. I will call this x average. All right. Okay, then I will say integer yeah? uh, I will call this function smooth x. And here I have the new value, new value. All right, so whenever I call smooth x, I want to have this average value included. So, however, I want to exclude some peaks, okay? So I'll make a, a static unsigned int Outside counter, outside counter, this is zero at the beginning. Then what do I do now? I say if, if the new value, the absolute of the new value minus the average value. Ooh, here I have to be careful, divided by, divided by this average count. Why I do this, we will see afterwards. So after this absolute value is, is smaller, no, let's call it bigger. If this is bigger, then and I call it tolerance. Let's see how much jump do we allow? Seven. Average total. So if this is bigger, then I will say outside counter, it's counter here, plus plus. Good. What if this jump was legitimate? I say after four times, if outside counter bigger or equal average outside, then we do then we do a uh, int set x average int new value. I will set this to the, to the new value. I yeah, will call this uh -huh. set x average new value. Good. Outside. Ah, 
let's just make this. Okay, if the outside count, then we set it already to the new value. Then we jump to the new value. So if we are now four times, what was it? Yes, four times outside this tolerance window, we set it to the new value. Okay, so this should work. Else, now we inside the tolerance window. We say if outside counter bigger than zero, outside counter minus minus. So actually what we should do, what we should see here is that uh, this outside counter, what's happening now? Is it crashing or what? This would be not beneficial. Okay, here we are, outside, starting answer, outside counter, starting at the beginning is zero, and I want to use and set average x int new value. Here we are setting the average value. Okay, and here we are, we are comparing, we are comparing, we say if a new value minus, what, aha, uh -huh, yeah, average, x average, divided by average count, why I do this will be clear afterwards, yeah? and the absolute value of this, is bigger than some insensitivity area. I will set it define average tolerance. Let's say it's seven. What should happen then? Then we are the outside counter plus plus. And now if this is already outside, I have to average max out, let's say five times, if we are more, or let's say four times. If we are moving very fast, yeah, then we, uh, then this might happen. So if outside counter bigger or equal average max out, yeah. Then we say set average x to new value. We're setting the average to the new value. Okay, so then we assume, okay, we made just a jump, but now we are correct again. And we make, make outside counter minus minus. Good. Else. If we are not if we are inside this average window, mm -hmm. we need some static unsigned int act pos equals zero. Yeah? If we are inside this, we have to calculate a new average value. Okay. We have to calculate a new average value. So we will subtract from the x average value the last one which was used. Yeah? So we will say x average minus equals uh, and now in x array from actual position. So I have to do this here. I will initialize this uh, in setup 
4 int i equal equals 0 i smaller than average count i plus plus we do this set average uh, Ah, now I will this. I will do this with set average x. This is good. This is good. We will do this there. Uh, we will say uh, in x average from i equals new value, and in the end, before we will say x average equals zero and here we will make x errors plus equals new value then we should then we should write this okay and here we just have set ah this we will do afterwards x average minus in x okay and now i can write a new value to this actual position xbus equals new value and x average equals a plus equals new value okay in x average is now the sum of all of all 10 Things. This is why I divided here. Yeah. In x average is the sum of all 10 last uh, measurements. Okay, so this is to prevent to prevent errors from from you know rounding and trunking and so on. Simply from the integer to to prevent commas. Yeah. X average, okay, looking good. However, what we also do is if outside counter bigger than zero, then outside counter minus minus. So if we are in the tolerance window, we reduce the outside counter again. Good. And what we are returning? We return. Return. Uh, the x average divided by average count. Here we might get some some commas. Yeah? However, this will be drunk because it's an integer. Hmm, this should already work. This should already work, I guess. Outside tolerance window. Set outside counter. If outside counter is too big, set new average. Yeah. Else, inside tolerance window, reduce the x average, increase the x average by the new value. Oh, the actual position. I have to move the actual position. Act pose plus plus, next one. And act pose, act pose, and now percent to do the modulo operation and this average count then it should be this should then round go round from zero up to to nine and then starting with zero again okay actual position this is stored everything is fine and here i will say uh how was this smooth set F average x set average x to analog read let's read it once yeah? and here x axis is not analog read now so but is the smooth x from analog read let's see here remove the zero. So X should now be smoothed. X should now be smoothed. Yeah, let's try, let's upload this. Save everything. Yeah. Upload.
Let's see what's happening. Looking good, I would say. This is X. Huh? This is the X drive. Huh? So, this is really smooth now. Why is it jumping? Why is this and this now X? I'm not sure. Let's see. This is X. This is X. So this is X. This we have changed. It's chittering a little bit. But I can do it very well. Look at that. If I move here very slowly, this axis, yeah, you see it's always jumping. See? Tuk tuk tuk. And this axis I can position quite nicely. In very small steps. This is the difference. This is the difference between those two. Yeah, so here. I can smooth very, and here, back. This is a little bit more stable in operation. I see this is now also chittering a little bit. Yeah, maybe we have to 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 adapt a little bit, but this I can position this a little bit better. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Actually, this is what I expected. This is what I expected. So let's say average tolerance. Let's let's put this down to four. Huh? Then we should not see as many as many jumps. Huh? Then we are outside the tolerance windows more. And we should not. This is stable now. Now we are suppressing the peaks better. All right? Because we consider everything which is higher than 4 away as a peak. Okay. Yes. Yes, working better. I think that's it. I will do this now also on, on the other axis, so on the Y axis. Yeah. Just copy this stuff. Yeah. Just copy this stuff. Uh, here. That would have been good to, to use an, an object. Then I could produce one object for X, one object for Y, and have a smooth one. This is actually what my what my uh, library is doing. But now you have seen how this is coded. And here we have also the benefits of our of those things here. Static unsigned int is a local variable, but it's static. And so I can, can call it here outside counter and here outside counter. If I would have used a global variable, yeah, then I wouldn't be able to code it like that. Yeah? So at least we see some benefits. Yeah? However, perfect or oh, perfect. Much better would have been if I would have produced an object called smoother, which is holding this information and made two instances of this object. This would be 
this would be better. Yeah? This is how object orientation could help you. Upload. I think I have. I think I have done it. Running. Running. Ooh. Why is not working? Why is not? Okay. This is always happening after after just code. Just I've just coped it. Ah, here we are. <laughs> this cannot go smooth. Mm -hmm. Still somewhere wrong. Still, still, still somewhere wrong. <sighs> Just COVID. Set average Y. Yeah. Uh, Okay, I'm satisfied. I am satisfied. I think this is nice. I can smoothly control those things now. X, Y and X. And yeah, what to do? I already thought, what can I do with this? With this, yeah? now it's here. Yeah? But why? <laughs> why? Why I've done this? Well, actually, I thought you know there is this. It was called labyrinth. Yeah? Labyrinth, uh, where you have a table which can be moved, uh, and you have a a little ball and you don't you have to avoid the holes and you have to find a way through through the labyrinth yeah with two usually you have two knobs there left and right and you can tilt it that way and that way and can then tell the the, the marble where it should go okay and i thought maybe it would be nice to have this joystick and instead of these two knobs the two servo motors Ah, it's not servo, it's stepper motors. It would be perfect for servo motors, of course, I know. Uh, it would be perfect for servo motors. This would be an ideal operational field for servo motors. However, I wanted to try the stepper motors, so I, I will solve it with stepper motors. Yeah, and this is what I'm going to do. I will build some XY turning table yeah, and try to, to guide a marble on this table uh, with the help of these two two stepper motors. Uh, we have to solve their hair a little bit. Uh, since they are not servo motors, we have to find somewhere they don't really care if they are at zero position or where they start. They don't know where they start. Uh, so we have to do somewhere uh, an a switch or something like this, which indicates, okay, I am now at the limit, or I am now in the middle, or whatever. I am at one distinct position, all right? So we have to read in a switch, then that we know, now we are at a defined position. This we will do next time, all right? Next time we are going to read in a switch yeah, to, to calibrate the positioning of those servo motors, servo motors, stepper motors. Servo motors does not need to be calibrated. They have an internal feedback, but those things do, all right? Since we are not using the proper drive for a proper application, we have to do a little bit more work. But hey, that's why we're here, right? For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.